Hello everyone, hope you're having a great day today. Merciless Vaughn here back with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And in this one, we're going to be taking a look at the Gammas at 55% level 1 links. Now, if you watch my uh, summons video, and if you didn't, uh, spoiler alert, you would have saw that I didn't pull the Gammas. So, uh, yeah, I did some summons uh, off camera, and let's just say I should not have did it off camera. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to try my best to showcase the Gammas pretty much at the bare minimum here. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, you've been here for a while. Subscribe, want to get to 400 subscribers. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's a little side quest for you. There was something wrong with my gammas before I started the video. Um, if you caught it, bonus points for you. If you didn't, uh, well, I guess you're just going to have to figure out what it was that was wrong with them. But anyways, their leader skill is superheroes category key plus three HP attack and defense at 200%. Um, their super attack, their ultra super attack is the super gamma blast. Greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes uh, colossal damage to the enemy. And their 12 key is the victory combo, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage to enemy. So that's their super attack effects. Um, as you can see here, they are 55% level 1 links here. Uh, yeah, you can pretty much see the links in the categories that they're on. They're on a lot of categories here. And so here we can look at their passive skill, which is Super Heroes Power. Key plus 3, attack and defense, 125%, plus an additional key plus 3, attack and defense, plus 125% when HP is 30% or more. Super Heroes, Joint Forces, or Defenders of Justice, Category Allies, key plus 3, attack and defense, plus 50%. Chance of performing a critical hit, plus 30%, launches an additional super attack, up to 2 additional super attacks within a turn, per int key sphere of chance. Per int key sphere obtained. Chance of performing a critical hit plus 12% launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack. Up to two additional attacks within a turn per AGL or SCR key sphere obtained. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% and reduce the damage received by 30% starting from the turn in which the character performs the third attack in battle. So pretty much um they're from the looks of it, uh, they just look like a pretty good support unit to those three categories there. Uh, depending on the key spears you get, they will do different things. Um, oh, my bad. I let go. Uh, if you pick up, let's see, what was it? If you pick up in key spears, you'll get some crit chance. If you pick up AGL or SCR key spears, you'll get some crit chance as well. And you'll and you'll get some attack and defense plus fifty percent and reduces damage received by thirty percent starting from you know when either they do their third attack which is pretty good so it should be pretty easy just to I mean get three attacks really if you just collect the right amount of key spears uh, and they do have a standby here that we can take a look at uh, let's see how I can do this enter standby mode can be activated when HP is seventy percent or less or after their Character performs three or more attacks in battle. Sends by for four turns, during which charge count increases by one per attack performed by allies. So basically, you do the three attacks with the gammas, or if you just so happen to have 70% or less HP, you'll get to go into their standby. They'll stand by for three turns, and every attack you do, it will charge their standby. So we can take a look at them in their standby here. Let's see, they do different things, it looks like. Uh, no, actually, it looks like their super attack pretty much stays the same. Uh, the passive. Yeah, here we go. E plus 6, attack and defense 250%, reduces damage received by 50%, plus an additional attack and defense when attacking. Uh, superheroes, joint forces, defender of justice, uh, that doesn't change. Uh, chance of performing a critical hit plus 30%, also an additional attack. Uh, that doesn't look like it has changed. Let's see here. Chance of performing a critical hit 12% lost an additional attack that has a great chance of performing a super attack up to two times attack within a turn per AGL or STR key spirit team. Okay, it looks pretty much the same. And so exchange and gamma at their, you know, he kind of drops the core breaker here. 
seems the super attack is just pretty much the same. Oh, wait, hold on. Greatly raises attacking defense for one turn. Causes Mega Colossal damage to enemies. Raises super class allies defense by 50% for two turns. And then here, just raises attacking defense for one turn. Okay, so on the 18 key, you get 50% defense for super class allies for two turns. And taking a look at his passive skill, attack, or uh, excuse me, key plus three attacking defense 150%, reduces damage received by 15%, plus an additional key plus three attack and defense 150%, and an additional damage reduction of 15% with HP is 30% or more, plus an additional attack and defense 50% when attacking. Uh, the support is still the same, launches an additional super attack, changes AGL key spirits to int key spirits. Chance to perform get critical hit plus 20% up to 100% plus an additional damage reduction of 10% up to 50% per N or SCR key sphere of team. So basically when it's just a gamma one, um, he's pretty strong here. He can go up to the maximum amount of credit and get some good damage reduction here, which is pretty good. Actually, was that 80% damage reduction? 80% right? Oh no, excuse me. Uh, my math was wrong. It's only 65%. Damage reduction of 15%, we have 30% or more HP. And if you do get like 5 in or SCR key spheres, you do get the 50%. So yeah, 65% damage reduction is pretty good. And so uh, yeah, that was pretty much a lot here. We're going to go ahead and go into a stage here. We're going to go into the Supreme Magnificent Battle, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolved Vegeta. In the Beast Showcase, I did the Sword of Hope Trunks, and I'm just going to go into the stage after that, which is basically this Vegeta. And this is the team that I'm going to use. It's not really too different from the uh, uh, Beast Gohan team that I used here. So let's go ahead, jump in here, and get started. Oh, got to turn the uh, audio on. That uh, superhero is going to be playing for a while, I think. I'll wait until, uh... Oh crap, intros aren't on. Oh no! I'm sorry. I forgot to turn the intros back on. My bad. Um... I mean, yeah, just, we just obviously go ahead and do this. that and we'll do that sure oh uh <laughs> uh there was also something else that you might have spot that was different from the um, last video i posted if you did uh bonus points for you if you spotted what was wrong with the Gammas in the beginning of the video, you'll get extra luck on your summons. And if you spotted what was different from the Beast Gohan between the last video and this video, you'll get even more luck on your summons. So yeah, if you notice the difference between them, uh, just put it down in the comment section. So the Gammas overall just seem like a pretty simple unit, really. You just get three attacks, you go into their standby. I mean, that's pretty much it. You can do that pretty easily here. Though we did get both Gammas on the same turn, which is just very unfortunate. Um, actually, yeah, we're kind of... This kind of sucks, actually. Because we have both Gammas and Gogeta on the next turn. And you really want to get rid of Gogeta just so he can come back in blue as soon as possible. So this is just pretty much, uh... I think, uh... I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and do this. So let's see here. What key spares do we want to pick up again? We can pick up these, these AGL ones right here. Then we can get these SCR or... Then we need to make sure he gets at least one Rainbow Key Spear. Um, let's see how much they do in the first slot. Ooh, okay, yep, they do not belong there, not at all. I'm pretty sure after they attack, they'll be okay, but definitely not before. Yeah, you do not want to put them in that first spot. 
Okay, that was normal. That was a normal. So we did do the three attacks. So we should be able to go into the standby. We're going to the standby with mine um, next turn. So that's pretty much fun. Oh, well, their additionals were super was good for them. We took way too much damage. Um, sheesh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think it was just, like, this was just a bad turn. Neither one of those units can go in the first slot. But after supering, they're fine, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, we got a Beast Gohan and Piccolo on the same turn. Both of them are kind of units that want to go in the first slot. Well, you guys know this. You play Dokkan longer than I have, more than likely. Gogeta's going to go ahead and do his thing. Uh, this is probably going to kill us. No, okay. I thought it was going to kill us. He tanked that pretty well, actually. Um, I think I want to get rid of Piccolo, because if we keep Gohan and Piccolo on the same turn, they're going to attack break, and that's just less hit for the uh, uh, Gohan to be able to take. So we can do that. Okay, we'll be able to get three Rainbow Key Spears, and we'll get the key from the Gohan once he gets hit. And then we can get that. Uh, honestly... Yeah, he's pretty much dead. Either Gohan's gonna kill him, or the, um... Super Saiyan Blue Kyle can go for the Super Saiyan Blue Blue from Vegeta Will. Here's a guaranteed super that is more than likely going to crit. Yep, and he's dead. And now we will be going into the Gamma's standby. But before we do that, we need to make sure we turn this on. Don't want to do that again. Uh, like I said, we'll go ahead and do the standby with mines. Alright, so uh, yeah, that we are now in his standby. Uh, wanna take a. Okay, we have all of his links active, which is pretty good. Uh, take a look at his passive real quick just to see. So we do get the key plus three and defense support right there. Let's see. Um, I'm just trying to look at it real quick. I mean, I honestly forgot what he did that fast. We will pick up the... Oh, well, actually... I guess we'll... I don't know. I guess we'll just do this. I guess we'll pick up this one. And I guess we'll just do this. Now, does he tank better right there? Yeah, he tanks a lot better right there. So every attack we do will fill up that, uh... What is it called? Standby. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, the key there wasn't really the best, so we weren't able to get a lot, unfortunately. But we won't do that many attacks with the gamers. They have a type advantage here, so this, uh... Oh. So this... 
Are we dead? Okay, no, we're not dead. But that was a pretty decent amount of damage that we took. If the key was better and we got like them to do additionals, I'm pretty sure they probably wouldn't have took what was it? They took like 140k or something like that. I mean, we're not out the neck of the woods yet. This man still needs to dodge. Oh, okay, he was actually able to sink normal. I was scared. All right, so uh, we have a lot here. Um, I don't want to use the beast active really, but I will do this. Yeah, that's still my favorite OST. Um. Oh, don't need him and Beast on the same turn here with their active skills. It'll, it'll be fine. Let me remove Peach versus that. Or I want to give that to the boys in the blue right there. So, we're already at 24 Peach, so we're fine. We'll grab that. Make sure Gogeta gets his one. We dodge. My Gohan does have a uh, little bit of dodge. I mean, it was either that or crit, and he doesn't need the crit at all. So I just went on ahead and gave him just a little bit of dodge. And the, the dodge isn't like too much of a bad idea. I mean, I know the character needs to get hit, but. Uh, for example, the Sword of Hope Trunks, uh, he stuns when he supers, so if we pretty much dodge a super from that Trunks, uh, we'll, we'll pretty much get a chance to attack, so, yeah. I honestly think he's dead next turn. Uh, yeah, I think he's dead next turn. Was this stage too quick? I think this stage might have been a little bit too fast. Alright, Gogeta doing the easy 12 million. Oh, I'm sorry, Goat. Gogeta doing an easy 12 million. No crit because he hasn't really gotten a chance to dodge yet. If he dodges these three attacks, he'll have his 60% chance to crit. Yeah, do as many attacks as you can. Power up that, uh, core breaker. Wait a minute. You can't do that! Mudada! Oh, that was clean. I'm so glad we actually got that in the video. This is honestly the gamblers video, so, uh... I mean, we'll just pretty much go ahead and drop this on his head and just finish off the Vegeta. million with type advantage we didn't even crit imagine if we crit on that that was nice that, that was actually really nice all right that was a pretty sweet and short uh, stage I guess not too bad not too bad all right so that was somewhat kind of a brief showcase of the gammas at uh 55% level one links um overall um I mean, 
Yeah, they're I I think they're pretty good. Um they do support the team, which is just a you know, the, um, they can build up crit depending on the amount of key spheres that you get here. And yeah, the support they have is very, very good. Uh, yeah. The core breaker definitely does a lot of damage. Um, you know, if you have some dupes in them, if you want to put a, like a little bit of crit just so you can crit with the core breaker, that's fine. But you really don't need it since they can get max crit depending on the uh, key spheres you can get. But um, yeah, uh, that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. As usual, until next time.